Hi, Eric. Hi. <laughs> this is Eric Michael Gillette. He's going to be appearing at NJPAC in our cabaret season in March, March 6th, right? That's correct. Right. I'll be out here for two performances that night. Yeah, and uh, what's the show going to be about? Well, the show is called Best of My Love, and it's actually it's a collection of songs. I like to say that they're songs that were built for the romantic and the optimist inside all of us. Um, the concept of the show original, originated uh, around the idea that when I was 17 years old, this is the true story by the way, when I was 17 years old I actually spent 23 Saturday nights in a row going to see Franco Zeffirelli's Romeo and Juliet. Oh no. And I was such a romantic that every Saturday night I would cry like a baby and every Saturday night I would pray that this week those two poor kids would get out alive. <laughs> so I found a group of songs that express this, this hope and this optimism about love affairs in general mm -hmm. and in the process I tell a lot of stories about great love affairs Affairs and some of my great love affairs, so if you'd like some inside secrets, you might want to attend. <laughs> but I do it all through um, pop music combined with certain uh, theater pieces. So, for instance, we take songs like Jim Brickman's number one hit, Valentine, and we combine it with a Stephen Sondheim song like Loving You mm. and create something brand new that you've never heard before. Wow. Um, the first big song in the show, the show around which the entire piece was built, is an old Eagles song called The Best of My Love. And if you came to see me uh, here at the Chase Room a couple of years ago with Hook, Line, and Singer, you know that I'm crazy about radio music. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of songs of that type in the show as well. There's um, California Dreamin' is in the show as a reprise song, mm -hmm. Best of My Love is there, there's Madonna, there's even a little bit of the Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. But we also frame it with wonderful theater songs. So it's, it's music for everybody of all ages. Actually, that's an old catch line of mine, isn't it, since See? I was a ringmaster for so many years. That's right, it is. Now, uh, there, you also do a Phil Collins song that I'm, I'm fond uh, of. You're fond of one of my favorite <laughs> songs. There's a song that was written many years ago for a motion picture called White Nights, and mm -hmm. to this day I don't understand how it lost the Academy Award to Say You, Say Me. The song is called Separate Lives, mm -hmm. and I dedicate it in the show to everybody who has ever fallen in love with someone who wanted to break up with them and then wanted to stay friends. Right. Now you've appeared at a number of very famous places that do cabaret, like uh, the Cafe Carlisle and uh, uh, the Fe and Feinstein's, right? I just made uh, my Feinstein's debut right, this past just season. Just recently, it was great. And um, and you've been here before. So how does the Chase Room compare? The Chase is one of the most wonderful rooms in the country. I've played everywhere from Washington all the way down the West Coast. I've played every place on the East Coast from Florida straight up. And I have to say the wonderful thing about the room is the intimacy of it. Even though it seats a, a wonderful number of people, mm -hmm. just exactly the right number of people for a good cabaret show, you feel as if you're able to speak to every single person in the audience one-on-one, -on -one, which is really what cabaret is all about. Well, I thank you very much for giving us a few minutes of your time, and I want to urge everyone to come and see you. Well, I hope you'll come out and catch the show. I'm with a wonderful musical director named Don Rebick. Mm -hmm. um, I love this show more than just about any show I've ever done, and I'm really looking forward to bringing it out here. Thank you, Eric. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks so much.